If you want to write a book and become a best-selling author, you're in the right place. At Elite Online Publishing, we can help you create, publish, and market your book so that it becomes a number one bestseller. We work with a limited number of authors to ensure that they receive the best possible service. So if you want to learn how to write and publish a book that will empower you to smartly grow your brand, business, and credibility, apply today. We look forward to working with you. Hey everyone, welcome to the Elite Publishing Podcast. We have our newest international best-selling author, Doreen Rivers with us. She wrote the book, Brain to Bank, How to Get Out of Your Head and Start Making Cash. I want to say make some money. So we're going to talk with her about her whole process of how she wrote her book and became a number one bestseller. Welcome, River. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much. So happy to be here. Well, we're really excited about your book. I have it right here in front of me. So Tell us a little bit about how you came up with the idea to start this book. I think it came with just recognizing I'd had about 30 years of knowledge of starting businesses. My career has been having companies hire me to start their business and to set up systems and processes and product development and really getting their company up and running and all the different things that it takes to do that. And then, of course, I've had individuals call me and say, hey, what do I do about this? How do I start this? And I just realized that there is a great need for people to have a blueprint on how to do this. And a lot of people have great ideas. They just don't know where to start. And so they don't start. And Mm -hmm. this book gives them a roadmap where you go from A to Z. And when you're done, your product really should be in the market and you should start cashing in. Yeah. And, you know, I love that you say get out of your head. So, so many authors, they can't get out of their head to actually write their book. So what are your tips or secrets or process that you did to take all this content and knowledge in your head and actually create a book and get it down on paper? I actually, on this particular book, it's actually my eighth book, but I make an outline of what those chapters are going to be about. A lot of it for me came from experience. What does it take to start a company? Well, it takes this. And I made a list of of what that roadmap looks like to get a company up and running and into the marketplace. And those became the chapters. Mm -hmm. And then within those chapters, you say, well, what is it I want to teach the reader? And uh, for me, it, it came down to, I want to give you an illustration of a story that illust- that talks about what's in this chapter. And more specifically, some of the nightmare stories that I lived through working with companies, the things they simply chose not to do or didn't do the right way and it cost them their company. So, so read these and this is what not to do. Now, here's what to do. And then I give them an outline of that And so I would make an outline of what those stories are and how to illustrate those with real companies and true stories of what happened and then bring in experts in those different fields. For example, experts in marketing or strategy planning or exit strategies and bring in those expert opinions in the book to give it more viability and an example of that exact industry of how to do it because these people have done it for decades and they're on the internet as well. So verifying your information and giving stories that that illustrate and make it easy for people to understand what you're trying to teach them. That was important for me. Yeah. Tell us how you found the time to write. Because I know a lot of authors, and especially are really busy like you are with your clients. How did you structure or have the process of finding time to write and get the book done? For me, I'm very calendar driven and it's on my to-do list for the day. I I keep a digital calendar. I print it out every week so I know exactly what the week looks like. And there's a block that goes from 8 to 11 a.m. every morning that just says, write. And I try extremely hard not to have any meetings during that time. And I sit down and I write for three hours and it's the first thing I do because my mind is freshest in the morning and it's the most important thing. But what happens is when you write for three hours or you'll write or your goal is I'll write 1500 words a day, 
once you check that off, your whole day just falls in the line because you got the hardest thing done. Writing is hard. And mm -hmm. I don't care how good you are, how often you write or how many books you've written. It's hard. And you have to pull this out of your brain every day about what to write. But if you have a goal, I'm going to write X amount of minutes or X amount of words at this particular time, it's on your calendar, it's there. And if you say, I'm going to write today, that doesn't cut it because everything else happens during the day. At the end of the day, you didn't write yet and now you're too tired. And that goes on for weeks and weeks at a time. So put it on at a specific time where you're at your very best and don't cheat yourself of procrastinating and not doing it. Just make yourself do it. But at the end of a certain amount of time, your book's done. And that's the beauty of just having it on the calendar. It's kind of like, you know, going to the gym, right? You can make all the excuses in the world, but when you do it, it's so fulfilling that, you know, you're making progress with it. And with a book, you really see the progress because you've gotten so many words written down on the paper. How important was it for you to work with a publishing partner like us to help get the book out there and become a number one bestseller and having that team behind you? Well, it's critical to have a great team behind you. It does a couple things. One, you're forced to meet deadlines and goals. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to have your book done by this certain date and then get it to an editor, you have accountability when you're working with a publisher. And for me, I, I would, I can't not make that deadline because I, I promised I would and I keep my promises. So it's really important to have that accountability and then the other part of it is had the expertise behind that. Your publishers are critical in giving you information that will help you not only to finish your book, but to get it ready the way it's supposed to be ready for publication. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to go back and redo it. And, and that knowledge and expertise of the publisher, you don't have that. That's why you've hired them. Listen to what they tell you implement it and you're going to have a much better success rate and your book's going to be better because you have experts on your team. Yeah, I love that. And that probably goes for like the book cover and formatting too. You mentioned an editor before. So I think some authors will come to me and say, you know, oh, well, I've designed my cover. I think it looks great, but they didn't really hire any graphic designer to do it. So it doesn't really look great. <laughs> right. So tell us about that process of how you found and hired your team to help build up the book, build the book? Well, you know, I'm fortunate enough that I've worked with graphic designers over the years on a, a number of projects. So I knew who to hire for that. Um, but once again, back to the outsourcing, there are fabulous people who do nothing but do book covers and they know the format it's supposed to be in. They know the 300 DPI, if it's supposed to be, and all, all the nuances and things that maybe we don't know. Mm -hmm. And, you know, great outsourcing places like Fiverr or Freelancer or whatever. You can hire someone to do your book cover who does them all the time. But then what I do when I get my book cover is I will go on to something like Monkey and I'll put my book cover, I'll put three different book covers on there and I'll ask an audience which one they like best before I choose which one I like. And I had four different book covers for this one. And this one won probably by an extra 20%, but there were two others that were pretty close, but it still told me which one to choose because I went to an audience to say, which one of these do you like? This is what kind of book it is. And, you know, for a hundred dollars, I ran a survey and I got great answers. And, and so do your homework. Don't just guess and don't people think I have no money. I can't do all this. What you can't do is spend whatever it is you're spending by yourself and then fail. That, that's a worse failure than spending a little bit more and getting the best. And that goes with hiring your publishers, hiring your graphic designers, and then, you know, talking to people to saying, you know, what do you think about this? And not your friends and family. They will never tell you the truth. Hire outside people who have an unbiased opinion so that you, when you go to market, that's who you're really marketing to is people you don't know. So get that opinion. You know, it's so important because your book lasts forever. 
right? It's there for your lifetime. It never goes away. It's always on Amazon and it represents your brand for a lifetime. So it is really important to have the right team. And if you work with a publisher, like you were lucky enough, you had a graphic team, but if you're working with good, a good publishing house, they should have their own graphic team that's outstanding. That's going to help you and create the book cover. I have a question for you because you're a nonfiction author. What is your plan to use your book to expand and grow your business by leveraging the book? Well, I think the two words authority marketing is really the reason I decided to write the book. For all intents and purposes, I'm an authority in in this space. I've done it for 30 years, but no one really has a viable sense of where that authority comes from. Maybe I've worked with all these companies over the years, but no one's going to call all those companies and say, hey, what does Dr. Doreen Rivers know about this? But reading a book will say, oh, this is why people hired her. And you become an authority in that space. And so that authority marketing is the number one reason I wrote the book. And the other reason is to literally help millions of people who really want to get their idea out of their head and into the marketplace. Love that. Well, everyone can go find her book at braintobank.com. And Doreen, tell them what they can get if they go to your website. Well, first and foremost, there's a plethora of free resources on there. Uh, You can download the roadmap. You can download an avatar demographics worksheet to find out who your target market is. You can download a a reading list of what to read to to get up to speed on some of the things that will help you be better at what you're doing. There are, I don't know, 15 or 20 different resources there, and they're free. And in addition to that, of course, you can watch a little one minute video about the book. This is what the book's about. You can buy the book from the website and you can contact me from the website if you have questions. Thanks. Well, thanks for being here today. We really appreciate it. And if you're looking to become an author, we help you write, market, and publish your book at Elite Online Publishing. And we guarantee everyone that's qualified to work with us will become a number one best-selling author. Just reach out to us at EliteOnlinePublishing.com and hit that author submission button. Thanks for coming, everyone. We hope you learned a lot today and go get brain to bank. Bye. If you want to write a book and become a best-selling author, you're in the right place. At Elite Online Publishing, we can help you create, publish, and market your book so that it becomes a number one bestseller. We work with a limited number of authors to ensure that they receive the best possible service. So if you want to learn how to write and publish a book that will empower you to smartly grow your brand, business, and credibility, apply today. We look forward to working with you.